See if that works. Yeah, there we go. Hold on. Yeah, okay, there we go. And we have sound. What's up, everybody? Sorry about that. Um, I had the camera muted. It was that simple. Um, nice. Uh, <laughs> nice, good to see you, Rennie. Um, thank you for jumping in and chat. I love jumping in and seeing uh, Megan there, just being like, who knows what they're doing? Um, so yeah, so uh, we're going to, yeah, Stealth Stream Divinity. What's up, man? What's up, everybody? Uh, we're gonna blow some stuff up. So, so I'm gonna introduce you to this little island over here. Uh, I'm reviewing the game this weekend, so I, I wish I could stream like all day, but like I want to have chat on the TV. It would say on air in the corner, and like I need to capture footage for this review. Uh, and I don't want to get into any story stuff today. We are just gonna be blowing stuff up for like an hour um, if you guys are down. So, um, so this little island is where you start. Uh, and this took me five hours, six hours to do all the story stuff and to unlock all of these pl uh, places. You got all of these little provinces. Within each of these, you have these little bases. Uh, when you fly by them, they get marked on the map, but they're not marked until you fly by them. So if you see something in the distance, like you might not even know, which I think is different from Just Cause 2. I think you actually could see the markers, you just didn't know what was there. Um, and uh, you know, these, some of these were really small, some of these are huge, like these big bases. Uh, then when you unlock the bases, you get these challenges, and the challenges are the only ways you can like get mods to actually like level him up and make him carry more grenades and have upgrades and stuff. So like, whereas in a lot of games you just like, ah, challenges, screw that. In open world games, you're like, yeah, race, I'll do that later, whatever. Um, you, you really wanna do them in this game because it's how you level up the character, so. Very sneaky way to get more stuff. And then they threw me over to this little uh, archipelago. And so I'm doing stuff around there. That's where we're gonna be today. This is my next story mission, the, uh, Three's Company, which I'm not gonna do because I don't wanna get into plot stuff. I just wanna blow stuff up. So I'm gonna go blow some stuff on this island, but just to kind of give you an idea of the scale of this game, once I finish this, which will probably take me about four to five hours, then there's like this. <laughs> then there's like, oh yeah, the whole rest of the game. So this game's very big. Uh, oh, and there's also this stuff too. I mean, there was like, like this is its own huge base that I had to take over. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I got the hat on because I'm, I'm, it's casual Sunday. So I've already got Cauda down here. Um, so I think, I think Petra sounds good. Doesn't look like there's anything on these islands over here. Um, we got Olivo Moro. I think, uh, and we're gonna fast travel there. You can fast travel if you have beacons. You start out with one. I just leveled, uh, got a mod where I have three now, and those are to fast travel to places. Um, uh, the uh, beacons can just be picked up in bases and stuff like that. They'll have a little like marker that says, uh, um, um, that says, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's Saturday. Um, that, you know, that you can go pick up beacons and stuff. And then you throw them and then you can fast travel to different places. If you've already taken the, that place, you can fast travel to it for free. So I spent a beacon fast traveling here, uh, and we got the uh, we got the wingsuit, which is the greatest thing ever. So once we get into this town, there's going to bring up a thing that's telling us everything that we need to do. So those like little these lights over here are these speakers, and. There's a lot of great VO in the game where, like, when you're blowing these things up, you can hear him talking and, like, what he says, uh, D. Ravello, the guy you're trying to take out. Oh, actually, let's do these. These are cool because you have to go activate them, and there's only, like, three or four usually around the city, and they I identify them so you can tell exactly where they are. But the first one you have to deactivate without being, um, uh, without, uh them knowing you're there. So you can't like run in and blow stuff up and then do this. Like you have to stealthily go in uh, and activate these things. But uh, again, like, you know, this is before launch. I don't have the greatest internet connection in, in my garage. Um, so do not judge the performance of this game. It's also streamy on Twitch, but just, just, just let the explosions, just let it in. Let the explosions wash over here. The explosions are coming. Alright, so I shorted that guy out, so let's go take out the rest of the speakers. Uh, it's nice to do bases at night because the, the red lights glow really brightly, so 
you can see where all your objectives are. But uh, one thing I can say, you know, I also don't want to, like, review this game too much right now. Like, I want you guys to wait for the review so you can figure out, like, exactly what I think of this game. But um, one thing that I like is I remember as fun as, uh, oops, wait. Oh, and you can, and you can uh, uh, do that. So I can um, grapple two things and then pull them close together. Like, I'm going to demonstrate right now with this statue over here. Look at these guys. Hello. Turn around. Wait on you. We need more units. Hostile contact. All units converge on these coordinates. ASAP. Come on. Oh, come on. Maybe I'll get it with a grenade. Oh, it wasn't enough tether. Okay. Um, dying in this game is great. Uh, I mean, it, you know, you don't want to die, obviously, but uh, it just ports you with full, uh, uh, you know, Arsenal right outside of the place that you were trying to attack. So you can just keep going in. Thanksgiving is great, man. Thank you for asking. Um, uh, what this game is now talking about port marketing? Yeah, I think it was a bummer this game's coming out on like December 1st. You know, this would have been a great... I mean, who knows what was happening with development, but uh, this would have been a great game to play a couple months ago. Um, but uh, I would have loved to have gone like right from Arkham City, like right into... or right from uh, Arkham Knight right into this game, but... Um, but alas. So see, you know, we died, but we're back at it. So. Um, but one of the things I was going to say earlier is that, like, I remember there just being a lot of, like, frustrating, like, searching in Just Cause 2. Like, I was like, ah, I just need one more of this stupid icon. I got to try and find it. And that's not, that's kind of gone in this game. They don't really have that. Um, I have a cool grenade launcher that shoots, like, six grenades that just completely decimated that statue right there. That guy's radio, radio for help. they blow those guys up. Okay, blowing all that up. Okay, so we got the, oh, I'd say of all of the things trying to find in each map, the trickiest for me is the billboards. Because they're like a flat plane, so a lot of times you can like look at a city and, and fly right by it and not see it. Um, thankfully they're usually, uh-oh, is there a helicopter? Uh-oh, helicopter. Oh, let me do something fun with this helicopter. Grapple the helicopter, you grapple him to the building, and then you tether him into the building. So he's stuck, and I'm pulling him closer and closer to the building. Um, you have no health meter, you don't need to pick up health, health regenerates, which was different, I think, in the first game. I think you could regenerate a little bit of health, but um, yeah, I'm wearing a cap. Captain America, the Saturday. Uh, so where's the, oh there, there's the billboard. Let me grenade that guy. Is the game too easy and forgiving at times? No. Uh, and the great thing about this game is if that's like an issue to you, like easy, like game difficulty has never really been a big problem for me. Like that's not something you'll hear me talk about a lot uh, in reviews. But if you want to make this game difficult, you can do it. Like there, there, you can, like I'm tackling these things in any order I want. Like, like you can, I, I, you can make this game challenging, like in a fun way. Um, so, but, uh, I just like to, I just like to speed run this game, you know, I just like to try to get through these objectives as fast as I can. Um, cool, so now I just gotta wreak more havoc. Oh, so this is cool, so, the gate to the front of these bases is blocked off, and you see that little white icon? I can go down there and I can flip that switch if I want, or from a distance, I can just do that. So I can tether the top and bottom and open it up, and then rebel soldiers will come in. Come in. Uh, and on some rooftops, you're actually stuck to uh, the roof. I actually can't walk off right now. I have to, like, jump off, um, which is kind of the same on vehicles and stuff. Like, you can walk around vehicles now, and uh, you actually have to manually jump off of it to get off of the vehicle. Um, but, uh, uh, there's some guns have a zoom. This one doesn't. Uh, the gunplay in this is a little loosey-goosey. It's a little, it's, like, tough to get used to because you can't really, like... Precision, like aim, like you normally do with most third. I mean, you can precision aim, but just the way it, it controls feels different from like actually like bringing up the gun in some third-person shooters. You have to like hold the L trigger or something like that. Like in Tomb Raider, we have to like you know shoot the bow. This is like a little more running gun, a little more fast than this, but I love it. Um, I didn't really like Just Cause One. I fell so far. I fell so much in love with Just Cause Two. It was ridiculous. Like I, I, I went over the deep end with that game. 
And this game, in a lot of ways, is just everything Just Cause 2 did better. So, whether that's enough, I don't know. I, I don't think I've really arrived at a review score for this, because I have so much more of the game left to play. But, um, cool. So, I've done all the objectives. I've sufficiently caused enough damage and pissed off enough people. So now I'm going to do what the director of the game told me was <laughs> uh, influenced by Super Mario Brothers. The raising of the flag. To comm commiserate the ending of the mission. Game audio is a bit loud. Got it. Let's bring it down. Looks like an 8.9, says 44 stars. Okay, okay. Uh, logging on GT website uh, is on the to-do list now, or am I doing something wrong? E like, I, I would be surprised if anything works on the website right now. So it's a good thing you guys are all on Twitch. Let's just hang out on Twitch. No no need to go to GameTrailers.com right now. Um, this stuff's happening. Um, everybody went on vacation, you know? Like, a lot of our guys that were building the website are just on vacation. So um, not, not a lot is going to be fixed. Is it a goatee contender so far? Uh, not for Game of the Year. I love this game. But this is like a guilty pleasure game. This is a game I put in like my own secret, just, you know, compartment where it's just like, I just, I'm so happy this game exists. It's like, there's actually one line in one of the cinemas that made me really happy. So I locked this. So this, uh, mountain, oh, let's do this. This is really great. So let's do a challenge. Um, but, uh, yeah, this game's just guilty pleasure. It's like, I'm just, oh, there was one cinema where he said, Rico, it's just good to have you back. And I'm like, that's it. That's the end of the review right there. That's the end of my video. Like, that's exactly how I feel. It's just like, I'm just happy. I'm just happy we get more just cause. Um, personal goatee. Not personal goatee, no. Um, I will tell you my personal goatee. In a video we will release later. Um, just Crazy, the ultimate sandbox game. Yeah, I mean, I use the word open world a lot, but some people argue that sandbox is more like the term. This is a sandbox. This is exactly what it is. So blasts are like speed. Uh, with Ke like Keanu Reeves speed, where you got to drive a vehicle all the way up to something and blow it up. But the uh, you know the tricky part is is like where they s start you sometimes and where you have to go, and the vehicle that you're in is kind of like not cooperative sometimes. So this might take a couple of attempts to figure out the best route. Uh, IS420, thank you for watching, man. Um, yeah, we don't do lots of streams on the weekend. I don't stream a lot for my PS4, but. Uh, when I saw that we could stream this game before review, I was like, well, I'm gonna be home playing this game. I just can't play a ton of it because I wanna get, uh, you know, like if I wanna put this video in the review, I, I can't capture it right, right now. Uh oh. Gotta move, gotta move. Looks like the blow up in the gas station. So this is probably a bad idea right here. We gotta get like around the mountain, I guess. Just going down the mountain trail. This might be, this might be bad. See. I don't know, this looks like a shortcut. This looks legit. Uh-oh. Oh, the actual, oh. Oh, cool, I thought that was Twitch. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I thought, uh, I thought I'd lost Twitch. Yeah, I don't care about that. That's for leaderboards. Um, and the, I, the servers aren't up yet, because the game's not out. So, it's all right. I thought Twitch was telling me I was down. Why did my car not blow up? Or did it pause? I guess it paused. Uh, thank you, Zebrahead. Why am I driving up? Jones, what are you doing? Jones, this is not... Jones, you're in a car with a ball on it. Jones, what are you doing? No. Oh, boy. Maybe we should just take the road. How about that? Doesn't work out this time? I will just take the road. Although, it looks like I'm gonna make it. Gotta line it up. Bail. Please don't hit that car. And... So I only got one gear for that, because I obviously, like... Only finish it within 60 seconds. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little victory jump. Like, yeah! 
Will you live stream PSX reactions? A lot of us are going to be at PSX. We're going to be doing a betting special. We will do other videos surrounding PSX. Um, we also just moved. Performing online login. Stop it. It really wants to post my excellent one gear score to the leaderboards. Cool guys don't look at explosions? Yeah, he, yeah, he never looks at explosions. But I mean, like, setting up for... Uh, Setting up like four, okay, so four more gears to unlock the safety mod, which they're demonstrating right now, which means that even if I'm right next to something that I just placed, if I hit the detonator button, it won't go off. It only will only go off if I'm away from it, which I guess is like if you're a bad player. Um, so yeah, so there's that. So I get a gear towards whatever mod. I'm gonna show you guys mods. So I'm wondering what classification that was of mod. There's destruction mods, that might be it. Explosives, weapon, tether, traversal, land vehicle, air vehicle, sea vehicle. Uh, and that's it, so I guess that would probably be an explosive mod. Safety, yeah. So there's also um, exp uh, boosters, which uh, like make things like a rocket pack. So if like, see he's like putting it behind the vehicle and then he like shoots it off. Um, but like, kind of, I mean, it's just, it, it puts a delay on it, so that's why I don't have it, because I, I have a thing now that makes, it's called, I think it's called glass grenades. That's like, if, I, if my grenade hits anything, it like blows up. Um, but, uh, yeah, mods are fun. So it's interesting, so mods, like, some of them are no-brainers, it's just like, hold more of these, like, hold more grenades, like, why would you not want to have that on? But uh, some of the mods uh, are, like, optional. It's like, you can have that on, but... Um, Backspace just says the game is gorgeous. I'm glad it's holding up on Twitch. Oh, so this base is super small. Yeah, let's go to this base. I'll show you guys the wingsuit a little bit. The wingsuit is so great. I played I played hours, copious hours of Just Cause 2, and not once, the whole time I was playing Just Cause 2, was I was like, they should, you should have a wingsuit. I thought about a jetpack, but like, you know, I think a jetpack would work for any game. But, uh... Wrap the trees, and then wingsuit. And the thing that took me a while to get is if you like really hold down on the left analog stick in the wingsuit, he'll fly horizontally for a while. And what's really tricky is like zip lining with the wingsuit because it, the zip line really wants to pull you down towards the ground. So you really have to pull like all the way up in the analog stick like not to, not to die. But I mean, you know, it's just cause. So like even if you're like, even if you wingsuit straight into the ground, like you're fine, like you'll shake it off. He's Rico, shake it off. Blow that up. We gotta get this uh, statue over here. Got a bunch of grenades. I'm just gonna grenade this guy right in his butt. Next time, put up something with less mustache. Uh, what else do I need? Oh, that's it. <laughs> all right, Viva Medici. Um, for all you Doctor Who fans out there, David Tennant is in this game. Uh, he. Plays a guy who gets like kidnapped and is forced to like read messages um, Like when we win uh, When I like destroy a base. He's like, oh, yeah, we, we meant for that base to be destroyed That was totally intentional um, And he's David Tennant, so he's brilliant. Uh, his delivery is very very funny. I can tell he probably like improv a lot of stuff um, So yeah, the wingsuit is awesome doesn't uh, doesn't work that way in real life though. Nothing works that way in real life in Just Cause. It's not why you're playing Just Cause. It's not why they're making Just Cause. That's not why Just Cause exists. And what's fun, I don't think, I don't know if they added that a lot in Just Cause 2, but there's a lot of voiceover when you're in cities of people that are like, I want that grappling hook, that looks awesome. <laughs> like, people that react the way you would react if like, you know, Rico is uh, ziplining and parachuting around. Uh oh. Wife cameo. Puppy and wife cameo. I'm not, I'm not getting on camera. <laughs> what was your original email address with game trailers when it was your homegrown site? Like Maverick at game trailers? Can you try Maverick at game trailers? What is what Maverick? M A B E R I C K. It's only five letters. Was it ever Jones at game trailers? No, it was always red. <laughs> Did you ever have a, like a weirder game trailer? Jeff, maybe? Jeff. Sorry, right, got some, got some, got some business. Got to take care of. Bring it in the sunlight. 
Got the puppy running around. Got a kitty? Maybe we can get the kitty on the stream. No. No? No. No stream kitty? If you can think of any weird email addresses that you might have had in 2005. No. Did you ever have a phone number that ended in 8? I don't know. I don't know. No, okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, if anybody on the ch if anybody on the chat works for Xbox, what I'm trying to do is I get charged twice for Xbox, and they charge me like the bonus. Not like I'm playing about Xbox. The Xbox is I love the Xbox, but uh, um, they build me twice, man. And they're tricky because because it's like I haven't used that credit card in years, and like I just noticed this extra charge, so they've charged me for a while. But whatever, I will eat, eat the cost because I was an idiot and didn't look it up. But they were like, well, give me the card number. I'm like, I haven't used that card for 10 years. I don't know what the card number is. So, customer service on Thanksgiving weekends. Happy holidays, everybody. Press 5 for more Norbert. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, you know, things go wrong in life sometimes. But when you have a kitten around, every, everything's okay. When you have a kitten and just cause, you're having a good Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, another uh, just genius maneuver in Just Cause 3, another genius addition. You can hack Sam's. So, uh, I'm gonna get shot and probably not hack this one, but... Oh, wait, no, got it. This guy with heavier armor. Grenade that guy, grenade that guy. Uh, so now they'll attack all the, all the guys coming to the base. Um, and uh, the guys in the... The soldiers are kind of dumb, but dumb in like a fun way. Like they, like when you fly into bases, they don't freak out right away. They do some in, like in some of the 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 you know bigger, more dangerous bases they do. But uh, um, boy, there's a lot of stuff I got to do in this base. This is a pretty big base, huh? Okay, let's see if there's anything else around here. Um, any plans to film the goatee discussions this year? Would probably be fun as hell. Game discussions are fun. The whole goatee deliberation shooting thing is something we've talked about again and again and again and again and again. And every time we talk about it, we ultimately... Oh, come on, game. Uh, we ultimately just say no. Like, because it's... It... Uh, it wouldn't look good. It wouldn't sound good. We would... Our attitudes would change. Like, we would be different people. And I, and I don't want to jeopardize that discussion. I don't want people to feel held back in any way. You know, um, about like, uh, you know, the editor like constantly asking me like, uh, you know, he, he made this change, should we put that in? Um, and, and that it's, and, and it's just, and it's not like a little thing. Enter offline mode forever. Don't go back into online mode. Um, you know, that would be like six, eight, maybe 10 hours of conversation to sift through. And so it's just like, um, uh, it would take a long, it would take a long, long time, use a lot of resources to produce just one video that would do like, okay, you know, like some people would watch it, but, um, so sorry, so that's not like we're not listening or that we're not like eating, you know, your, uh, requests, but, uh, so just not on that one. So, sorry. Um, Giant Bomb does it, unfortunately, is not an excuse for us to do anything ever. <laughs> But I love Giant Bomb. So like, oh, wait, 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 Giant Bomb does it? Oh, okay, well, then that will totally work for Game Crew. Um, okay, so I gotta hack that thing, and that'll bring up a... I think they had that in Just Cause 2, where you had to bring up, like, little, uh, towers. And I know it seems like a no-brainer. I know if you guys are, are fans, if you guys are viewers, you're like, it, uh... Hey, let me see some people watching, thanks. Um, uh, you're like, you're like, why wouldn't you do that? It just makes so much sense. You just put on a camera and you talk about it, but it's like, it... I like, I'm, we have had many, many, many very deep discussions, you know, discussions about it. Uh, we've weighed all the options, and, uh, uh, this is not the way we want to do goatees. We will be producing a ton of goatee videos. I think we're doing at least 30 different videos around Game of the Year, so, um, if you want our opinions, if you want to know, like, deep down, what we think about games, like, it, it'll, it'll be there. Um, but I'm glad you guys are excited. I'm glad you guys are excited enough to, like, suggest, you know, ways that we should do it. Who was that? Who shot me? Um, I'm also noticing. Uh, I think I don't know if there there may be not as many guns as, or maybe just like the equal amount. I'm not noticing a lot of like crazy different types of guns. Although some of the explosive like grenade launchers and rocket launchers are pretty fun. Uh, you can call it an airstrike, which is great. Reminds me of mercenaries. Um, Goaties will start on December 21st. Uh, but uh, I'm noticing the the, the universalness 
between ammo is a lot better in Just Cause 3. I remember Just Cause 2, I'd be like, oh sweet, machine gun ammo. And then it's like, no, that's for this specific type of machine gun. And, like, that was really frustrating. Um, but, uh, you got your C4, your unlimited C4 in your grappling hook, so you can do- wait, what? Whoa, where are you going? Okay. I thought it was like going back down. Um, so just like, grapple to there, you put your C4- oops! That's not C4, that's a, that's a grenade. There we go, there's C4, okay. Everything's fine, Rico Rodriguez. Okay. And just grapple up there. And just jump down there, grapple there. Oop, oh, right there. there. That, grapple there. Move along the top, just for fun. And one right there. Just grapple down here. The control's so great because you can, gri you can break your grapple. Hold that R1, and that takes that out. Um, they have really fun towers that you can blow up. You know, I love towers. Um, but it's great. If you blow it up in a particular direction or like crash a plane into it, then the whole thing will like, come crashing down. Um, Brandon, did you try St. Rose 4? That's the same kind of mindless mayhem. Yeah, I, um... Just the flavor of Saints Row doesn't like... I'm not saying I wouldn't play it or that it's not good. Because, it, it, like, Saints Row is one of those things where it just... It's a matter of time. Like, I... If I was immortal and had, you know, and didn't sleep, then yeah, I totally played Saints Row 4, but, uh, um, I need sleep, which sucks. I wanted to play this game all night last night, and I, you know, I made it to, like, 2.30 and just passed out. But, um, wait, hold on, I just gotta blow this guy up. Hold on a second, let me just... Um, more weapons. This base might take us, like, the whole stream, man. This is a big base. Um, what's interesting about this game that they had in Just Cause 2 that is they don't have at all in this game. Uh, your mods sometimes upgrade, like, the functionality of weapons, but it's not like a power-based thing, where, like, there definitely was, like, a leveling system on your weapons in Just Cause 2, and you had to, like, go around and find parts that you would use to then upgrade the weapons that you want to upgrade. Totally gone. Like, if you get a gun in this game, that's that gun. There's no way to upgrade it, that will always just be that gun, that's just the way that gun is. Um, which initially, I was curious if the game needed that, and it, it doesn't. Like, it's, um, this game is really about, no one limited C4 yet. Yeah, I got a limited C4. Um, right there. Boom. I can, uh, drop four of them at different locations and then blow them all up, so. Yeah, this is true. You definitely blow shit up more in Just Cause 3 than you do in, uh, Fallout. Uh, does this have, do you have any melee actions? Yeah, you just do... That, you still work over here. Oh, wait, whoop, wait. Yeah, maybe let's. Where's the helicopter? I think that's a helicopter. Yeah, there's a helicopter. He's shooting at me. Dang. See, like, Metal Gear Solid 5 has way more, like, gravitas. Like, when a tank comes up, you're scared. It's like, okay, I definitely feel, like, the gravity of that tank. Okay, how this. This guy, and uh, two over there, so, okay, over there, there we go. Oh, I'll probably die. Yeah, there's like 20 guys shooting at me. Wait, wait, wingsuit escape! Yes! Sending additional ground nice. forces to your location immediately. Uh, and if you play Just Cause 2 and you're like curious about the controls, I think they moved a couple buttons around, but like, just 20 minutes, you're you're back, you're in, um, and it's fun. But yeah, this the, as I was saying with the weapons, this game's all about finesse. So it's like your your skill at taking these bases. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Let's blow that up. Um, uh, let, I'll I'll do a C4 demonstration. Um, you know, you're you're uh, you don't necessarily level his health up. You just like don't get shot. You know, <laughs> just move faster, and you'll just get better at that. Where you play the game. But, uh, yeah, see, I got, and I think you get up to five of these. Eventually. Oh, yeah, we can blow this thing up. Let's get a good, let's get a good view. We blow this, or should we watch this blow up? Maybe just while we're flying, come back. Yeah. Um, so yeah, screw that satellite dish. Blow some other stuff up. Do I have any more of these rockets? Grenade things? Nope, out of that. Okay, I got any grenades left? No grenades. I gotta put some personal with this thing.
Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. No, no more grenades. There we go. Uh, oh, oh geez. I think they're blowing it up for me. Yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> Blow that up. Get out of here. Uh, while the explosions look really good, there is kind of like a satisfaction in uh, not seeing stuff blow up. Like, I love setting like f on four totally different things, and then run, just running through the base, jumping off like a cliff, and then like not even looking behind me as I blow it up. Um, <laughs> satellite dish inside a cave. Okay, cave designers. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? Um, if you hit the right trigger when you're uh, using something other than the machine gun, uh, and rather than like specifically selecting a we weapon, it'll just go to your assault rifle, which I kind of like. Like, you just automatically are like, ah, I gotta shoot that. It just goes straight to your assault rifle, whether you actually quote unquote have it equipped or not. Um, it's kind of cool. They get it. I'm like, yep, you were chucking a grenade at something. A little weapon that I gotta restock. Is that technically blown up? It looks blown up, maybe it is. Um, and I'm not doing crazy stuff with tethers. Actually, well, now we already blew that. Like, you know, I can, like, put that guy to there and, then, like, throw him over, catch him to that wall. Cover. Oh, I meant to hit that guy. Um, here, I'm gonna do this. There, and attach you to the top of the cave over there. Oh, another break. Pretty strong there, buddy. What can we do with this? Just want a jeep up there, you know? Just want a jeep to be right there. Is that too much to ask? Can I get a jeep up there, please? Yes. Yes. Yes! <laughs> Just got three, everybody. Just got three. Have a happy next <laughs> Uh There's crazier stuff you can do than that. Yeah, this game's nuts. It's kind of game where like 30 minutes go by and you're like, oh, uh, I haven't actually been doing anything. This is a big, complicated base to do on a stream. There's all sorts of crazy stuff going on in this base. Excuse me, I'm looking for more things to blow up. The green uh, thing is a rocket launcher. If you see a red target, that's a sniper rifle. I'm doing pretty good, actually. I just gotta get more explosives. I gotta get more... Like, charging stations, or like, generators. Um, And, uh, a couple of radio things for them. There's all that stuff. Okay. Okay, what's going on? Oh yeah, see I modified that SAM, so it's taking that helicopter out. Or I can just grapple the helicopter. Oh, wait, no, God. Oh! Anyway. Okay, so I've been down there. I guess that helicopter over here. Is the helicopter all blown up? That doesn't look like an operational helicopter. Been over here. Alright, sorry. Uh, did my follow up for Battlefront 3? I get this as a Christmas gift instead. Good game. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so the game comes out this week. The embargo is Monday. I don't know if the game comes out Monday. I think it might come out. It might come out on Tuesday. I'm eager to destroy the rest of this base. Where's this base? Um. 
Oh, there we go. machine guns. Actually, we can do something fun here in a second. Hold on. Uh -oh. uh, so let's... Guys, I want to do something fun. Stop blowing everything up. Let's put this guy onto that. And pull them in. Shake those off. Oh, that's kind of cool. There you go. You, you were you were here first, folks. You saw a, a me discover something on a review. I did not know that guy shakes those off. It sucks. His animation is also really great when stuff blows up. Uh, get out of there. I'm gonna blow this thing up too while I'm at it. Yep. Blows up and it blows. Oh, got him! Alright. If my eyes deceive me, or. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna pick that up. Nice. Blow up. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Excellent. Escaping. Sometimes guys try to escape and you gotta go mess them up. Hey, buddy. Got a little rocket launcher here for ya. Uh, gotta get a couple more generators. Here I said everything's really easy to find. This, this is kind of like a, a complicated base. This doesn't look like I've blown this thing up. It's still lit up. Oh, I got a grenade. There we go. Ah, there. Okay. So now we just gotta find these things, which make I think these things might be. Oh, Shooting guys while you're ziplining at them is. <laughs> oh, Sam, I, I hardly knew ye. Oh. It's like there's those things, but I think that's another, like, like a totally different base. Right? Yeah, it's like across the way. Ah, where would this be? Sorry, right. gotta stay focused, otherwise I would die. Otherwise, I'd be checking the chat. Sorry if I'm not very responsive to the chat right now. Oh, screw you, dude. I'm out. Let's 
suit, so much fun. Crazy ninja moves? What was that? You see that? Oh, weapons, nice. Stock. That guy. Yeah, we're talking about uh, divinity. Yeah, it's like it, you know, I could be super careful and cautious, you know, and like could probably get through this. I could like he might I can bring in vehicles too, so like I could go. Nice, finish the base. Uh, I could go um, or like bring a tank in. You know, I could bring like helicopter. Uh, I could stop by a base and go pick up guys and bring them, so I could like show up with extra help that would like even if those guys don't actually kill dudes, uh, I can. Um, uh, they'll at least distract them, and I can, like, go around and flank guys or, like, take out a Sam or something. Um, so there are lots of ways that you can customize the experience and make it fun. Let's do another challenge, and then we'll wrap up the stream. Uh, well, I'm streaming for 40 minutes, so yeah, maybe I'll stream a little bit longer. Um, I like that they have the elapsed time on the PS4. That's cool. Grenade Launcher Frenzy. I'm standing on it. I'm standing on the challenge that I want to do. Yes, let's do it. Snatch a plane. Perform it. Stop it with your online login. Uh, yeah, I could fast travel to an airport. Let me just do the grenade launcher frenzy first, and then we'll uh, yeah we'll get in a plane. Fly a plane around. Start. So yeah, frenzies they just give you a weapon and they're like cause as much damage as you can and. Uh, the thing that's fun about it is uh, um, you get combos if you take out bit things in succession. So if you take out small things and then bigger things and then bigger things, you'll like blow your combo up and get more points. So if there's a lot of tanks and stuff like that, you don't want to shoot one and then focus on another one. You kind of want to do a bunch of damage to all of them and just get them ready to explode and then take the first one out and see if you can get like a domino effect. Um, Brandon, is there a reason? Is there any reason to drive a car over parachute and wingsuit? Yes. I mean, not over, not as far as travel, but cars are still pretty fun. Uh, there are mods that can mess up cars that you can jump a car, like you can like just literally have like a like rocket propelled like leap in any car. Um, cars also all have turbo now, um, and you can uh, collect cars, which I don't know about you, but like for me, that's extremely addicting. The concept of like. Um, uh, I have unlimited grenades, so I'm just gonna blow a lot of stuff up. Um, let's see if I can destroy this thing with this weapon. Uh, the load time is a little brutal. Yeah, there, I heard that's something that a lot of people are talking about, and like. Yeah, they're, they're, they ain't lying. So you can see the five-time combo I got going there, and we lost it. Um, load time? But it's open world, so I don't do a lot of loading. Um, and it hasn't, like, made me angry. It's just something that I noticed. I mean, GTA V has brutal load times. But once you get in it, you know, it's not that bad. This boat. Sixteen seconds left. We already got a, a 
Not a star, but a gear. Richard Gear. Are the ones in Fallout bad? Oh, yeah, there's that other part of the base up there. So again, you just gotta get to know the base and know where everything is and kind of plan a route. Um, if you care to do more. If you care to really get mods. You could beat this game without any of the mods. Like, yeah, I get homing grenades. You know, it's like, this is a luxury. It's fun, but like, you don't need it. It's more amusing than anything. So somebody wanted a plane. Let's see if I can fast travel to an airport. Um, chat's also going by kind of fast, so. Um, what's up, everybody? 200 people watch me on a Saturday. What's up? Which I could stream all day, but I don't want to play too much of this game because I can't use this footage because I would capture what I'm seeing. I would capture chat and the whole thing. Um, but uh, um, so I need to get back to the game and actually play it and like listen to it and uh, um, you know uh, kick back, eat a sandwich, you know, just kind of get in, get into uh, the Just Cause Three vibe. And then uh, writing the review tomorrow, and then cutting it on Monday. And it goes up Monday, 4 p.m. Pacific time. Did you drop a Star Trek reference when talking about Mass Effect in the last top 10? Uh, I didn't write that entry, so I don't know. I think uh, Matt Blair wrote that entry, so maybe he was. Curious what the reference was. I'm, all, I'm, I'm totally down for dropping Star Trek references wherever we can. How's the voiceover? Okay. The characters are like, all right. It, it, uh, I'm going to talk about a little more review, but like, I wish, I wish the game would be serious or jokey and just go in that direction, like be Grand Theft Auto. I mean, Grand Theft Auto is also jokey, but it does tell a serious story uh, versus like Saints Row is not serious at all. And just cause it's kind of in the middle, like it, it, uh, you know, it's super silly and it'll make me laugh. And then like a character will get injured and they'll all be really sad for him. And I'm like, make up your mind. Don't, don't jump around like that. Whoa, what's up, crazy helicopter? Did I miss something? What's happening right now? What? Did I... Did, did, did somebody say something? Like, <laughs> was there... Did I... Did I miss the point where helicopters... And that, is that guy color... Like, that, I think, I think that guy... I think that guy was on our side and was flying down below. I think he, like, flew into the cave and just had a bad day, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, if that, if that doesn't sell this game, like, I don't know what does, man. 